hey youtube family welcome back to another video it's your girl april and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video and as you guys can see from the title today i am doing my what's in my hospital bag video because i am going to be 36 weeks this week on wednesday today is monday and i just feel like it's time for me to do this video because over the weekend i've been having contractions uh i lost a little bit of my mucus plug you know tmi but i lost a little bit of that and i just feel like it's getting closer and closer um so yeah i do have my uh 36 week appointment on tomorrow so i will update you guys what happens there but for now i'm gonna do this video because uh it's been a little tough but i need to get this video you know out there so i'm gonna start with um the bag i will be using i will be using this duffel bag it's a regular old bag i got from dollar general for like 12 dollars um i didn't need anything too fancy it's okay <laughs> uh it's pretty big on the inside and it will be fitting my things and baby boy things in it because we will not be getting a diaper bag this time around there was no use for it last time uh with my daughter who's gonna be two next month we barely used the diaper bag she was in daycare starting at six weeks old and they didn't need the diaper bag because they would just tell us you know oh she need more diapers or she need more wipes and we would just bring it to them so it was like no use for a diaper bag at all but anyway so this summer i'm not getting a diaper bag if we're going to wear in public uh my purse will be big enough for me to stuff diapers wipes extra extra clothing or socks or whatever baby boy would need and then i'm gonna be breastfeeding so a cover up for that and that's all i'll be bringing so yeah no need for a diaper bag this time around so yep everything will be going in here so i'm gonna start with my toiletries i put them in this cute <laughs> purse that i got from my sister uh so yeah and i was trying to find a cute little pouch but i was like nah i got a i got a bag i can just fit everything in so i'm just gonna go with that so starting off what's in here is my breast pads disposable ones um I know sometimes your milk don't come in until days later but with my last baby um my milk came in i had her what during the daytime i had her at 4 p.m and my milk came in overnight so yeah i was just like leaking everywhere i was like oh my gosh um so yeah so this time around i want to be prepared i got uh some disposable breast pads i just got two of those that i'll be bringing with me i got a bar of dove soap I don't know if I need to bring you guys a little bit closer because it's kind of bright okay I got a bar of that I got some travel size Vaseline the uh gentle protective jelly for the baby uh I'll be using this for my skin and for baby skin um once he gets his first bath in the hospital I will tell them I want this to go on him uh I think I'm not sure but uh my two last kids do suffer with eczema so they have really dry skin and uh so yeah so i might just use this for his skin in the beginning so i'm also gonna use it for myself so that's why i'm bringing that Oops. be bringing some deodorant got that in there um my cerave facial cleanser because my face gets really dry um i don't know if this light is just too bright guys hold on let me try to adjust it i think that's not too bright there we go i bring in this and the lotion as well i actually have the lotion in my closet i forgot to grab it but i'm using that at the moment so this is a brand new one because i'm using one i'm using one of these right now and then this is gonna be the one to go to the hospital with me and then i'm using the lotion this runs out quicker than a lotion so uh yeah that's why i got this one a new one right here and the lotion i'm using at the moment so i'll be grabbing that putting that in there too 
And then I got some Carmex for my chap lips, which I need to be using like now. But because I don't know what's up with my lips for some reason. They got a mind of their own right now. Um, and then our travel sizes, my husband and mine, travel size toothbrush and toothpaste for when we go to the hospital. So that's all in my little bag here. Um, if I come up with anything else I might need, I'll probably grab that, put that in there. But as of right now, I think that's all I'll need in there. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm bringing for baby. Okay, so um, I'm start off with his little swaddle thing. I'm bringing this for him. Just one. I mean, this is for probably after he takes his first bath in the hospital. Because other than that, he's going to be swaddled with their blankets. Which I'm okay with. And then I have his coming home outfit here. Which is this little onesie here. It's so cute. All these are newborn things that I'm bringing to the hospital with me for him. And it's a sleeper that goes with the onesie. Can I see my help? With these mittens and these socks. And I also got him two pairs of plain white socks that's going to be put on his feet at the hospital. And then these newborn white onesies. Um, I'm going to be bringing multiple of these. So like one, two, three, four of these just in case, you know, poops go through the diaper <laughs> or if he pilks or whatever, I'll have extra of those along with these black pants. I'm just bringing him one pair of bottoms because, um, for the most part, he probably don't even have on bottoms. He probably just have on the onesies and he probably swaddled. So just one pair of bottoms and also for him i'm going to be bringing a three pack of pacifiers this is the ma'am i guess the ma'am brand <laughs> uh this is zero to six months original day and night um yeah these are good nipples i suppose uh i did have the same kind for my second son so yeah I'm bringing a three pack of these. There we go. So I'm gonna be bringing these. Um, for some reason, it's my personal opinion, but I do not like the hospital pacifiers. Um, I don't like the little green ones or whatever. I don't like those. So when they offer my baby a pacifier, I make sure I bring my own so they can have their own. Okay, and next I will be bringing a heating pad because this is my fifth kid um, and I'm going to be breastfeeding and them cramping, like the cramps after birth is like no joke. I mean, they hurt so bad and I feel like the pain meds that they give you just, just doesn't cut it. So, I'll be bringing my heating pad and for what I'm going to be wearing. I got, these are the same pajamas I had with Jaden. He's four now. So yes, these are the same pajamas I had with him. So I'm gonna bring these. This is the shirt. This is the pants that goes with it. Gonna be bringing those, it's really comfy. And then another pair of pajamas, which I don't know um, if I'm even going to probably wear all this stuff because uh, with my last birth, I stood in the hospital for like, I want to say maybe 24 hours and then I went home. So I had her one day and then I went home the next day, basically. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to wear all this, but that's my first set of pair of pajamas. This is my second set pair is the Rugrats or whatever. They're so cute. And I just love like colors like that. So that with just a regular 
t-shirt kind of thin strap shirt you know easy access to pull down in the front there you go so i can feed my baby so i got that um okay and then i got my coming home outfit which is just another black little thin strap shirt once again easy for me to just pull down you know things like that with some black pants you know comfy stretchable so that's what i got for that that's for me to come home in and i got three little sports bras i guess or um they're not nursing bras per se but they you know i'm gonna wear them because i'm gonna be nursing and it's easier to just flap down and things like that so i like this one and of course i'm gonna wear these after i'm done breastfeeding and after i'm like years later <laughs> because they're so freaking cute so i got this one that i'm bringing with me i got this one that i'm bringing with me this one's a little on a thick side um but i mean as long as they're all easy access to like maneuver under the breast i can pop my breast out you know not saying that i just want to be popping my breast out but yes to feed my baby they gotta be you know easy easy moving and then i got this one this one doesn't have any it do have a little thin padding in it but this one doesn't have any padding in it so that's why i like this one this one doesn't have any padding the burgundy one does and this one kind of does but i like this one too so gonna be bringing those three for the hospital i got some slippers to walk around in which i don't walk around the hospital so i mean i barely walk around the room i guess i don't know i'll get about the bed go to the bathroom but then i'll have on socks because i'm bringing five pairs of socks guys so they're supposed to be the slip resistant ones or whatever i just wanted to be cute you know <laughs> So we got the little rubber things at the bottom and I got three pairs of these because I don't like my feet to get cold at all and then I got two pairs of black regular socks and yeah and I got my slippers so just to have some options to keep my feet covered and yeah that is all I mean it's not a lot at all to be bringing um I don't know I mean I don't know if I'm gonna get to the hospital and be like oh maybe I need this oh and also I'm gonna be bringing you know like my charger my phone my camera my tripod you know things like that that I'm gonna pack too so yeah which I'm using now so yeah <laughs> but yeah that is all that's going with me to the hospital guys and my hubby of course and his things which he never seems to pack so every time we go to the hospital he doesn't bring a bag and then you know as time goes on after i have the baby he realizes oh we're about to be sleeping the night spending the night things like that he's like oh yeah i gotta go home and take a shower and stuff because i didn't bring anything yeah that's what he do so i mean he's gonna have to come home check on the kids anyway you know make sure they're good with the babysitter and things like that so i'm okay with him coming home uh take a shower feed the kids do whatever you gotta do just so it can be a little lightweight on whoever's watching my baby it's either gonna be my sister or my mom or whatever so whoever's watching the baby he's gonna come home and make sure i mean whoever's watching the kids he's gonna come home and make sure that they're all straight and settled and things like that anyway so i'm okay with him not bringing a bag so yeah but for as me and baby who will be staying in the hospital this is what i'm bringing for us and my boppy pillow as well so yeah which i have that in the closet um yeah i mean it's not going in my bag so i didn't feel i needed to show you guys but yeah so that is all that is going in my bag you guys i'm almost to the end of the rope i'm so excited so happy i'm so ready to get my body back so ready to sleep on my stomach so ready to actually get sleep like get some sleep um and i'm ready to hold him so 
yeah i just want to thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye